plaintiff William Taylor claims his fun uncle said he could stay with him rent free. But the defendant's idea of fun was torturing him with a boa constrictor and stealing his money. He's suing for the return of the thousand dollars. Defendant Kwame Smalls claims his nephew is a spoiled, lazy, rich kid who cost him thousands by ruining his home-based business. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Yes. Thank you. The Honorable Judge Jerry Springer now presiding. Morning. How are you, Najee? Doing well, Judge. Good. It's case nice number 004 on the docket, Taylor versus Smalls. And welcome to you all. Let's see what we have here. The plaintiff, Mr. William Taylor, you are suing your uncle, Kwame Smalls, for $1,000 for stolen money. And with you is your witness? Yes, sir. And your name is? Charlotte. OK, nice to have you with us, Charlotte. Um, why don't we start with you, William? Tell me your side of the case. Well, basically, my uncle here is a thieving weasel. and. It's sad to be that we're here today because growing up, he was my favorite uncle. You know, he gave me yeah. lots of advice on girls, life tips and all that. So for us to be here is, is out of control right now. So around December, I need a place to stay. My lease was up and I needed a new place to go to, but I wanted to save some money up. But I didn't want to go back to my parents' house. Or my, my, you know what I mean? I wanted to stay with my fun uncle. Yeah. So I hit him up and I said, hey, unk, my lease is up. Can I stay with you for a little bit? I'm going to get some money up. And he said, sure, no problem. He said I can stay there rent free. He sent me pictures, and I, I would love to show you the pictures of the yeah, place. Yeah, let me see the pictures of the place. Perfect. Exhibit number two. Oh, that's yes, beautiful. look at that. It's beautiful. You would want to live there. It's yeah. beautiful. He showed me a nice view, a hot tub, all that. He said I have my own room. He said I had a balcony. I never had a balcony growing up. I wanted to move in that day when, he, when I spoke to him in December. Oh, yeah. I get there, and it was not what I expected. I pull up there, and it was the projects. It was the projects. Well, wait, uh, okay, well. No balconies, there's no balconies in the project. Ghetto it, fabulous, no. the honor. But it's clearly not the picture that you sent him, right? Yeah, it is because, all right, he, I'm not, all right, is he living outside in the, in the, in the staircase or elevators? No, he's sleeping in the Look, hardwood floors. That's where I was living With the AC, at. free electricity, that was my free bedroom. heat, Excuse free me. water, stripper pole. So oh, he whoa, whoa, whoa. Of luxury right what there. is a what is a pole doing in your That was my bedroom. The Beta picture switch. you sent him was of a different place. No, it was the same place. No, no. Get, put up the picture of He's the He's legally place. blind, but he can see that. You can clearly see that. Now that is not the same apartment. No. As the apartment, which is very nice, that you're showing of yours. He's showing a hotel, Your Honor. That's white. Hotel, so he was that looks like a hotel. A it hotel. is a hotel. It does. Yes. That's a hotel in Times Square. You sent him the wrong picture. And by the way, you, you, you called him a weasel. Yes. It's wrong. He's got a snake. Yeah, the, yeah, the what now, is yeah. that snake doing here? That, Your Honor, I'll get into that as well. He used that snake for pranks on me. I would be sleeping in my bedroom, AKA the living room on there. And I, as I'm sleeping, he would come and put the tail of the snake in my nose. That's a so lie. So imagine lie, waking up and you have a tail just wiggling up my nose. A straight lie. A I'm lie. a, listen, I'm a licensed massage therapist, a psychic show the license, therapist. Show the license. And I do, and I do license, um, I do wait, lymphatic wait, wait. drainage. The snake is there for a tool, a part of my psychic therapy to read energy. What kind of snake is that? It's a boa constrictor. A boa constrictor. Yeah, but his name is Jerry. I, mean, I call him Jerry Constrictor, you know? Oh, his name really is Jerry? Yeah, because he like to judge people like him. Oh. See, what it is that the snake, see, the snake, I use this for my energy, for reading energy with my clients. I had, I was sleeping on the couch. Who, who's making money? You right. He should sleep in the room or the snake should be in the room. He it should be make, in the cage in your own room. He ain't making nothing. I'm your snake. All right, you don't okay. rent well, All right, why this does is... it matter? Why did you stay? I didn't have much money. I was saving my money up. Okay, so you made the decision that, considering the price, I'll stay here and put up with this. Yes. You're suing him because you're saying now that he stole your money. Tell me about that. Well, I had $1,000 that I saved up within that two weeks, I mean, that two months I was there. Yeah. I had the money. Since I, had my own, I didn't have my own bedroom, I was living in the living room, 
I put the money in an envelope, wrote my name on it, and I hid it behind the flower pot and put stuff around it so no one would, like, could find it. I come back home and I go to get the money to put it in the bank, to make a deposit, and the money is gone. I reach out to him, I call him, he goes missing for two days. He's never been gone for more than a couple hours before, so now that was weird to me. I hit him up, I, I wrote him, and I have proof of that as well, of our messages. Let's see that. He says, oh, word, talking about the money that was in the envelope that had names on it? I said, yes, it was mine. It was, the, um, it was my first and last name on it. Yes, that was my money, I need that back. He says, okay, I'm, um, I'm gonna cash up you the money, my bad, you know I can't see ish. Two days go by on number 15, and I asked him, I said, are you all good? It's been, I said, you haven't sent the money? It's been two days. And then he goes off on me and says, I'm a grown ass man. You got some nerve coming at me like you did in front of my clients. And, and to be real with you, you staying at my crib rent free. I'll keep that $1,000 as back rent, 500 each month. Amen to that. You do admit that you took the money. And then when you took the money and he called you on it, yeah. you admitted it and then said, you know what? I'll charge you $500 for every month you stayed here. Yeah, and not So only that, uh. the problem with that is that that wasn't the deal. If you had said to him before he moved in, okay, here's what we're going to do. You can move into my place. You may have to sleep on the couch. There's going to be a snake there. There's going to be a stripper pole. Once in a while, I assume there's strippers that dance on that pole. Otherwise, yeah, why yeah, do you have the pole? Yeah, a couple times, yeah. Yeah, okay. But after he catches you, then you say, oh, by the way, I'm going to charge you $500 for every month you stay here. You can't do that after the fact. All right, look, he wanted to get up at his mama crib, good about... I mean, you know, leave the bird to leave the next, to believe to leave the nest. He want to stay with me for two months. I said, fine, he could stay with me. He just want to. He just want to get. He just want to get his money up and leave for two yes. months. Now for free. That don't mean that you could break my massage table laying on it. Go on my healing spiritual cream that I use to heal my clients. He well, went into your spiritual yes, cream? Yes, I got, yes, I got cream. Vaseline. That, I got Shh. cream that's made for healing. I use my electromagnetic energy to change the molecular, the molecular structure of the, of the cream to heal people. He's digging in that. He lays on my massage table digging as a, a, a chair, a couch. He breaks that. He breaks my um, couch is laying on it all the time, not being on it properly. He's digging in my food. Then when I tell him when I have clients to come in, I tell him, can, you, I tell him, can you get out of the atmosphere or the premises? He says, cool, we going in. He's still he there. Claims. He claims. Okay, so I'll read to you. Sorry, he huh? claims that some of your clients for massage come at late at night. I tell him, I said, listen, I got a client come, just go, go leave the house because I don't need them seeing you. You're going to mess up the energy, you know what I'm saying, of yes. what's going on. He's still on the couch. You decided on your own to accept his request that he be able to stay at your place. Right. That was your decision to let anybody else stay at your place to basically have to live on the couch because the snake had the other room. So that is on you. Here's what the case is about. He's suing you because a thousand dollars in cash, which was his, you took. Now you then figured out, hey, you know what? This isn't working out. He owes me. It's been uncomfortable having him here. I'm going to charge him $500 a month. Uh. You can't do that after the fact. And anyway, the $1,000 was his money. You didn't have permission to take that money. And because of that, the plaintiff is suing you for $1,000. I fine for the plaintiff in the sum of $1,000. We will. In the real world, you gotta pay bills. You gotta have responsibilities. He don't have, he lacks tree smarts. Cause I'm not, you know, so. He doesn't have that street smart, so he has to learn these things. He has to instill morals and values. How dare you sue your uncle that's letting you stay rent free and you probably stop me from getting thousands of dollars in two months and you gonna have the nerve to sue me? My uncle, he looked me blind. He can't see much, but he had uh, enough vision to see my money and take it from me. This is definitely a teaching moment. I will never be staying with him ever again. Um, yeah, but uh, I'm open to, to starting over.